Hi, Sophie. Hi, Sin. Hi, everyone. And welcome to How to Catch a Fearsome Critter, Episode 4. Today we're talking about Snollygoster, a fearsome critter who's also a blender. Fearsome critters are creatures who tend to chill around logging camps in North American forests. Lumberjacks told stories about the fearsome critters in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Right. Most of our information comes from the 1910's Fearsome Creatures of the Lumberwoods by William T. Cox and 1939's Fearsome Critters by Henry H. Tryon. Yes, but this is only in one of them. Today, we only had information from the 1910 book. Yes. So, the Snollygoster. In terms of its appearance, Yes. The Snollygoster is huge. Judging by the picture, yeah. it's over a meter wide and like at least like seven meters long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it looks like a mix of a crocodile and a snake. Basically, it has like a crocodile head and general shape, but no limbs. Well, it, it's also described as being hairy. Yeah, they say it has long glossy fur. And there's also descriptions of it having a horn on its back, as well as three bony plates at the end of its tail, resembling a propeller of a boat. Right. Would a crocodile with no legs just be a snake? Hi, Sophie here. Um, Sin wants me to apologize for allegedly bullying her over the concept of a an alligator, or is it a crocodile, whatever the hell the Snollygoster is. If it had no legs, um, it would be a snake. But that I was wrong there, I should point out, because um, uh, limbless vertebrates have evolved independently of snakes. And... If the Snollygoster did exist, and I don't even remember if it has legs, honestly I don't. But um, if this thing with no legs, if a crocodile with no legs existed, it would just be considered a, a, a kind of crocodile. Or al is it an alligator or a crocodile? It's in like... It's in Florida, so I assume it's an alligator, I don't know. Um, so that's... That's um... Snollygoster corner? I, I don't know. She won't let me do anything else till I record this. Back to the podcast. So the Snollygoster lives in Florida, and they can be found in the cypress swamps of the south. They are particularly common in the region about the Lake Okeechobee. Yeah. And at first, the propeller on the tail seems a little ridiculous. Yes. But, once you know they live in a swamp, and need to travel through water and mud, it makes perfect sense. It does. It makes absolute sense. <laughs> and the propeller rotates super fast. Yes. It makes the Snollygoster race through the habitat with like incredible speed, and it's been compared to a torpedo boat. Yeah. As for its diet? The Snollygoster has a voracious appetite that can only be satiated by eating human beings. Ooh. And it has a system. It uses its tail to toss people onto its horn. And it can do so repeatedly, turning its back into a human skewer. Mm-hmm. And I think that's a pretty good use of vertical space. It is, yeah. Yeah. But more importantly, that gave me a vision. Oh. Sophie, I'm going to send you a picture on Discord, and could you please describe what you see? Before I click this, is this um, is this something that you used our Patreon money to commission? I can neither confirm or deny this accusation. <laughs> Sin, you sound like something of a snollygoster right now. <laughs> Aww. So what Sin's shown me is the snollygoster as a... As a postal employee who has all of the packages on its on its back spike and it's delivering them to the Gumbaroo. 
it's super duper cute and I love it. Is. It is. When you said human skewer, I was expecting like it's got like hors d'oeuvres on its back and it's swimming around and people are just picking things off it, like from while they're out in the swamp. That is good too. I but no, you, this, 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 this is, I was not expecting you to go in this direction. I think it's very cute. Thank you. It would destroy the, the packages, of course. They have a giant spike through them. Yeah, but yeah. nobody would complain. <laughs> because it's a freaking smollygoster. <laughs> you take your package and you're like, thanks so much, I love it. <laughs> you're like, well, it just says don't bend. <laughs> say anything about impaling it. <laughs> and this was drawn by our friend, 3-2. Oh my god, that's so good, thank you. I had no idea he did this and we talk every day. I told him to make it a surprise, not to Aww, say anything. That's so good. Yeah. And you can find him on at the 32 on Twitter. And that's the 32 spelled out, it's not the 32. <laughs> yeah. This, this like I mentioned I, I talked to we've been we've actually been friends longer than, than us. Like I've known him since like the early 2000s mm -hmm. yeah and his um his branding as the three two has caused a number of issues <laughs> trying to spread his work around <laughs> thank you mark thank you mark it's, it's beautiful lovely. now sophie the snolly coster is actually really good at evolution right and it reflects in its eating habits. I thought you were going to say it's really good at evolution, hence the fact it evolved a propeller. Well, yes, you're yeah. on the right track. Right. But I'm going to talk about a different use of the propeller. Ooh. Once Nollygoster has enough humans on its back, mm -hmm. it uses its propeller. <laughs> it uses its propeller tipped tail to dig a hole. Yeah. And then it puts all the humans in the hole. Mm -hmm. And then using the propeller tail, it makes a human milkshake. Yeah. yeah. It's so morbid. <laughs> oh. Sophie. Yes, Sen. You had some very exciting new information you found about the Snollygoster. Yes, Sin. While the book doesn't give us an exact date for the last Snollygoster sighting, I can reveal that Snollygosters were mentioned as recently as 2009 by a British conservative politician. Oh my god. Yes, Tory candidate Richard Graham for Gloucester, he accused the current member for Gloucester, Palmjit Danda, of being a Snollygoster. And he says here, I suspect that what really irritated the Labour representative is that I called for him to publish his expenses so that all of Gloucester voters could see that he isn't a Snollygoster. <laughs> and then they actually have to, in little brackets after he says that, explain what Snollygoster means. <laughs> so it really wasn't a very good burn. <laughs> And then he follows it up with, in 2007, he was one of only 98 MPs who voted for the Freedom of Information Amendment Bill that would have exempted MPs from the freedom of information that prevented publication of their expenses. What was he trying to hide? <laughs> Perhaps he has a whole lot of corpses impaled on his back. <laughs> I just had a vision, a yes. debate between fearsome critters. <laughs> But the Snolly Goster shows up with literally a whole bunch of corpses like, sorry, I didn't have time to have dinner yet. <laughs> oh. uh. So, as far as I'm aware, um, Palmjet Danda hasn't actually, we haven't got confirmation he's not a Snolly Goster. So the last sighting may actually have been in 2009. <laughs> Thank you, Sophie. So, Sophie. Yes, Sin. Finally. Finally. Can you please tell us how to catch a Snollygoster? Okay, so I got, I got to thinking about this for a while, alright. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. clearly the Snollygoster is completely at home in the swamp. There's mm -hmm. no way we could possibly catch it. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't appear to ever go on land. Mm -hmm. I was thinking about how, like, okay, Snollygoster, it's come to mean like a dishonest politician. Mm -hmm. And there's possibly one in British politics right now. 
<laughs> doesn't want to reveal its expenses. So I'm thinking, okay, the way we catch this thing is some sort of scandal. <laughs> and then I was thinking, you know how it drills into the ground with the back of its tail? Yeah. I think it's fracking. <laughs> and you know, you know where fracking is banned? It's banned in Florida. The Snorley Goster is currently fracking Florida. <laughs> so we have to catch it in this fracking scandal. <laughs> that is a beautiful plan. Thank you. What if the Snorley Goster is actually looking for the Elden Ring? What if the Snorley Goster is in Elden Ring? Because it's going to have swamps in it. On the official website, they did say they're going to be fearsome creatures. Yeah, in a swamp. So combine that with the inclusion of both castles and fortresses. <laughs> and I'm in the only limit is our imagination. Sophie, do the outro. That was How to Catch a Fearsome Critter Episode 4, The Snollygoster, but not The Snallygaster. <laughs> Are we doing a Snallygaster one? Only if it's in the books. I'll level with you. The books aren't like those. Aren't, they're not real. They make they make them up in the book. It doesn't. It's not like we can only do peer-reviewed creatures. Thank you, Sophie. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, everyone, for listening, and see you all next time when we do the Leprechaun. <laughs> I've been running out of ideas at that point. Like, oh, it's just a leprechaun. <laughs> Bye, everyone. <laughs> Bye.